Number 89. When two cotton plugs, one moistened with ammonia and the other with hydrochloric acid, are simultaneously inserted into opposite ends of the glass tube that is 87.0 centimeters long, a white ring of NH4Cl forms where gaseous NH3 and gaseous HCl first come into contact. And then they give us this lovely balanced equation. Now, the question is saying, at approximately what distance from the ammonia moistened plug does this occur? And hint, calculate the rates of diffusion for both NH3 and HCl and find out how much faster NHCl diffuses than HCl. Okay, beautiful. So the question basically is saying, what distance will ammo ammonia um, basically come into contact with the HCl when they, you know, when they're added into this gas tubing? So if they're traveling at opposite ends of a glass tube, right? If I had to draw a lovely draw drawing of a glass tube and you put ammonia in one of them, NH3, and you put hydrochloric acid into the other one, HCl, they're going to travel, right? The question is saying, at what distance from the ammonia plug does this uh, come into contact happen? Well, let's just talk a little bit about theory, right? Remember, when we're talking about rates of diffusion, the theory comes from the molar masses. The less mass gas, the less mass gas always travels fastest. So the first thing that we have to figure out is what's the molar mass of these? That will kind of give us an idea of who's going to travel faster than who. So I'm just going to put that as mm, right? I go to the periodic table and I'm going to look up what the molar mass of NH3 is. So I got 14.01 plus 3 times 0 0.008. And I get a, a molar mass of 17.034, and that's grams per mole. Let's do the same thing with HCl. So I have 1.008 plus chlorine is 35.45. And I get a molar mass of 36. 0.458 grams per mole. Now remember, the less mass travels fast. <laughs> Did I just make that up right now? I guess, right? NH3 has a lower mass. So this one is going to travel quicker. This one, since it's, you know, weighed down more, it has a higher mass, it's going to travel slower. So if the whole glass tube, they told us that this whole glass tube was 87.0 centimeters long, when, at what point of the glass tubing will NH3 come in contact with HCl? Well, if they come in contact right smack in the middle, that means that they weighed the same. They traveled at the same rate. But if NH3 travels quicker, that means that NH3 is going to travel a farther distance because it's going to be traveling at a, at a higher speed. HCl, on the other hand, is going to be traveling very slowly. So it makes sense that as this is traveling quicker and this is traveling more slowly, the chances that they're going to meet has to be more than half on the HCl side, because this guy's only going to travel X amount, right? And H, H, uh, NH3 is going to travel way more. So now let's just see what those rate, you know, what the rate of diffusion is. And that's where the formula, the rate of diffusion formula comes in, which we've seen time and time again. It's this one, right? Now in this case, I'm going to put NH3's rate on top. Generally, I like to put the less mass uh, compound, the rate on the top. It's just easier for me when I do my math. So I'm going to say that A 
is NH3, and B is HCl. So basically we're looking for the rate divided by the rate. We're going to find out what that NH3 rate is in comparison with HCl. We just have to find a comparison number here, since they didn't tell us how fast either of them are traveling. But we know the molar masses. MM is molar mass of their respective gases. So this would just be the square root of B, which is HCl. That's the 36, 36.458. And this is all divided by, let me just extend this, this is all divided by the molar mass of NH3, the quicker one, 17.034. Okay, let's find out that number now. So the rate divided by the rate, we're finding out how much quicker NH3 is going to be traveling from HCl. So let's see. In my calci, I'm just going to do the square root of 36 divided by square root of the 17 number. And I get roughly 1.463. I guess we'll say 1.46. Now, remember, if I want to make this into a fraction, I could just put this over 1. And you see how if HCl is going at a speed of 1... NH3 will be going 1.46 times faster. That's all that these ratios mean. So NH3 travels 1.46 times faster. Or maybe I'll say, actually, I'll write the word times faster. Okay. So now we're almost there. We still have to find out that distance. But... Remember, going back to this drawing, now if we know that NH3 is traveling 1.46 times faster than the HCl, right, who's traveling slower, and remember, if 1.46 was NH3's number, what was HCl's number? If we put this over 1, yeah, it was 1. So you could say this was 1x or just x, and maybe I'll, I'll do this in different colors. So the red, right, that was NH3, it's traveling all this way, 1.46x. The blue is coming in here, that's just 1x. You see how they're meeting right in the middle? And look, if we're talking about distances, this whole red piece, right, this whole red piece plus this blue piece has to equal the whole thing, 87 centimeters. So let's give it a shot. 1.46x plus just 1x equals 87. And now if we just combine the x's, now, you know, 1.46x plus 1x is just 2.46x equals 87.0. And now we just want to solve for x, so just divide on both sides by 2.46. Oh my goodness, 2.46 gets canceled out, and now we have our answer. So let's see, x equals 87 divided by 2.46. So we get 35.4, we'll say. And that's centimeters, right? Because we were talking about distance. But now, here's the thing. They said, what distance from the ammonia? We just found out what X was, right? If we go back to our little drawing, X was from the HCl. From the NH3, that was 1.46X. So if I just kind of maybe make this a little bit higher... From the NH3, that was 1.46x. So what do I have to do with this number? Yeah, I just have to times it by 1.46. And now we have 1.46 times 35.4. And there we go. 1.46 times 35.4.
51.7, we'll say. And that is your final answer. So what distance from the ammonia? 1.46x was just 51.7 centimeters. And there you go. Whew. Hopefully this helped. Guys, let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Like the video. Tell your friends. Tell your classmates. Um, we love helping you guys out. We love hearing from you guys. You guys have been so kind in the comments. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all later. Okay. Bye-bye.